Hey guys, this hair is a mess, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into the video. First, I like to start off by using a wide tooth comb and parting my hair into four sections. After making those four sections, I do like to go ahead and two strand twist three of the sections just to get it out of my way. Then I like to start with a section in the back and begin combing it from ends to roots to ensure that there's no tangles. I then go ahead and pre-poo. Today I'm using Whole Blend Cartier Conditioner and I'm going to go ahead and just rub that all throughout the strands of my hair. This should help revert the hair back as you can see here. Now this method also helps when you're trying to refrain from stripping your hair from shampoo. So this is also good for that. Now I like to go ahead and take the tips of my fingers and just moisturize my scalp. Take that conditioner and water mixture and begin to just spray my hair very good where it can get drenched with water. Now after that I like to go ahead and just moisturize that mixture into my hair a little more and condition my scalp and I twist it right back up and do the same thing to the other sections. Again I'm going to go ahead and use that conditioner to use as a pre-poo and also to help revert my curls back. I'm going to use the tips of my fingers to really moisturize and massage my scalp to lift up some of the dirt. Use that water method and really moisturize that mixture in my hair and massage my scalp really good. After I do that, I am going to go ahead and twist that section back up as I'm doing here. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next section. Now you should really see that your hair really has its definition back and that lets you know that your hair is still healthy. Now I am going to go ahead and finish all the sections. You should have four two strand twists. Bye Felicia. And you should begin wetting your roots again with that water bottle. I'm going to take about a quarter size amount of shampoo and begin to rub that into my scalp so I can cleanse my scalp very good. And you want to really make sure that your scalp is clean. This helps for hair growth. It helps for hair retention. So when people say dirty scalp, grow hair, clean scalps really grow hair, okay? After cleansing my hair, I like to go ahead and sit under the steamer. This allows for the steam to really pull the dirt from the follicles and give me that clean, fresh feeling. I also go ahead and massage my scalp while I'm under the steamer as well. I went ahead and rinsed out that shampoo in the shower. Now I'm going to go ahead and really condition my hair. To condition my hair, I use the Cream of Nature Intensive Conditioning Treatment and the mango and shea butter conditioner and this stuff smells so good you guys so good when i'm conditioning my hair i ensure to use a lot of conditioner and really coat every strand of my hair because that's really what my hair likes i then go ahead and twist that section back up and as you can see here the front of my hair has some heat damage so i really like to focus on the ends of my hair when i'm conditioning my whole head because the ends of your hair are the oldest and they're the most important to take care of so i am going to go ahead and layer just a little bit more conditioner on my head tie it up and then go sit under the steamer for about five to ten more minutes after sitting under the steamer, I went ahead and rinsed out that conditioner and began to two strand twist my hair into smaller sections using Cream of Nature Twist and Curl Pudding. And you should get some bomb voluminous chunky twists. Finish everything up by making sure you're protecting your hair with a silk scarf or a bonnet. And thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.